Hey, how's it going guys? In this Selenium tutorial, I'm going to show you how to launch a website in mobile view. So some websites are designed specifically for mobile users. For example, uh, Instagram is a very popular social media website designed only for mobile users. Here, let me uh, launch my browser. So let me uh, create a new private browser. If I go to Instagram.com, so by default, it's going to show me the uh, desktop view. And if I log in into my account, and it's going to take me to a, a web page that looks like this. So here I cannot do um, very much. I cannot upload image. I cannot uh, change my profile uh, setting. I think there are a couple other uh, things that I can do only in mobile view. And fortunately for almost every single browser, we can actually simulate the uh, web page as a mobile user. And to do that, we can go to tools. And if we go to uh, web developer, so I'm using Firefox, by the way. I want to go to responsive design mode. So when you click on that, it's going to uh, change the web page as a mobile user. So here uh, we can change uh, if we want to simulate the web page using uh, different phones. So here I'm going to change the um, view as an iPhone user. So I'll change that to iPhone 6, 7, or 8. And this is what an iPhone user is going to see when they go to Instagram's website. And here if I refresh the page, we now have more options. Here let me uh, zoom in. Now we can upload an image. And I don't know what this is. Here, let me. Oh, so okay. So here are activities. I think these are the activities from the people that you follow. I think I don't use uh, Instagram very much. So just give me an idea. On, we can actually simulate uh, the web browser as a mobile user, and to perform the same task using Selenium. So here we need to um, go to a uh, couple requirements. So here's the uh, user agent information. A user agent is basically uh, the information you are providing when you are making an HTTP request call. You are basically uh, telling the server that what device and what browser you're using to make the request call. And right now, um, we are telling the server that we're making request call as an iPhone user. And so we're using Safari as the uh, browser. And to do the same thing using Selenium, so here let me insert my code snippet. I'm going to delete all uh, these lines. So the idea is we need to override uh, the agent when we make the HTTP request. So I'm going to grab the user agent information. I'll create a variable called user agent. I'll paste the uh, user agent information. Next, we need to create a new instance of uh, Firefox profile. So from our web driver, the Firefox profile, and it should be a uh, lowercase. We need to create a new set of profile. Inside the uh, profile object, we need to uh, override the user agent by using the set preference method. Here we need to provide the uh, setting name. The setting is general dot user agent dot override. So basically, we're trying to override the uh, default user agent. For the value, we're going to insert user agent variable. And once we have this uh, new set of profile, we need to assign the profile when we launch the uh, browser, or when we create the browser instance. So from webdriver.firefox, we need to uh, provide the profile object to the Firefox profile parameter. Now let me uh, type in the uh, URL. So if I run this code block, 
and it's going to launch an uh, Instagram swap site. And this time the login page looks like this. So if I sign into my account, now I have the same options as a mobile user to do basically everything a mobile user can do. So I can upload a photo. I can go to uh, the home page and create a new story. So this is everything I want to cover in this lesson. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.